Good day everyone, welcome to our new video lesson in mathematics and for this video, the topic will be compound interest so uh, sa video na to, magkakalculate tayo ng compound interest okay, but before we go on with our lesson proper so let's have first the difference between simple interest and compound interest so interest is defined to be the price that you pay to borrow money or the cost you charge to lend money so sa Tagalog, ito yung tubo Pag nangutang ka, may tubo. Pag nagpautang ka, may tubo. And that tubo is the interest. So, interest can be computed as simple interest or compound interest. Okay, in simple interest, it is calculated on the original principal amount every time. So, ang kukuha na lang natin ng interest dito will be the principal amount. So, yung puhunan lang ang kukuha na natin ng interest. While sa compound interest naman, calculated ng the accumulated sum of the principal and interest. So, dito naman, pinagsamang principal sa ka-interest yung kukuha na ng interest. So, kumbaga, ito yung tubo na tumubo pa. Okay, so interest, so it can be calculated as simple and compound. But for this video, we will uh, focus more on compound interest. And this will be our formula for compound interest. So we have A is equal to P multiplied by quantity 1 plus R over N quantity raised to the NP power. For in letter A will be the final amount. So ito yung final amount natin which is the principal plus the compound interest. So yun yung babayaran ng kliyente. Yung puhunan saka yung compound interest niya. Then letter P will be the principal or the puhunan. Letter R will be the rate in decimal number. So that is the rate of interest. And that will be converted in decimal number. The N is the number of times the interest is compounded per year. So depende yun. Halimbawa, pag sinabi natin quarterly, so sa loob ng isang taon, merong apat na quarter. So therefore, the interest will be compounded four times every year. Pag sinabi natin annual, so once lang. So the interest is charged uh, annually. So, therefore, there will be, uh, it will be compounded once every year. Pag sinabi namang monthly, so 12 times a year, ang compound interest niya will be charged 12 times a year. And then we have letter T. Ang letter T natin is the time period in years. So, again, the formula will be A is equal to P multiplied by quantity 1 plus R over N quantity raised to the N T power. So, example, so let's try first how to identify or to determine the number of times the interest is compounded in a year. So, that is our variable letter N. So, kapag ka annually, so N will be equals to 1. So, kung taon-taon tumutubo, so it will be compounded once only every year. Kapag semi-annually naman, so ang tanong natin, how many semi-annual are there in one year? So, ilang kalahating taon ba meron sa isang taon? So, therefore, dalawa. ba Ang isang taon ay nahati sa dalawang kalahating taon. So, our letter N will be equals to 2. Pagka quarterly naman, so how many quarters are there in one year? So, ilang quarters meron sa isang taon? Kaya nga tinawag na quarter si apat. So, ang isang taon ay nahati natin sa apat. So, therefore, there will be four quarters. Then, month di, syempre, wala nang duda. How many months do we have? in one year so therefore that is equals to 12 so n is equals to 12 so the letter n will depend so upon the uh, rate that is compounded annually or compounded in a year okay so example number one for calculating the compound interest so we have letter p or the principal that is 50,000 pesos letter t is equals to two years so, letter R is 5% quarterly. Then, letter N is equals to blank. Letter A is equals to blank. Then, CI pertains to compound interest that will be equals to blank. So, the formula again, A is equals to P, quantity 1, plus R over N, quantity raised to the N, NT power. So, ang kailangan natin gawin, i-convert muna natin yung ating 5%. Gawin nating decimal. So, that is 0 0.05. We will just move the decimal point two places to the left. So, 0 0.05. 
And then identify natin ang letter N natin, so quarterly. So ang tanong, how many quarters are there in one year? So meron tayong apat na quarters. So letter N is equals to 4. And then substitute tayo ng value. So P is 50,000. So ang letter P natin is 50,000. So that is our given principal. Ang letter R natin is 0 0.05. Letter N is 4. Then letter N again is 4. Then letter T is 2. So ang kailangan natin dito is calculator. Dapat meron tayong exponent sa calculator. So gamit tayo ng calculator. So upon using our calculator, we will apply the PEMDAS. Parenthesis exponent, multiplication division, addition, subtraction. So kailangan unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So sa loob ng parenthesis, meron tayong plus, meron tayong divide. Unahin natin yung divide. Okay, so gamit tayo ng calculator. So, ang unahin natin dito will be 0 0.05 divided by 4 equals plus 1 equals. Then, quantity raised. So, kung babalikan natin yung 4 times to natin, that is equals to 8. So, kung babalikan si calculator, so exponent tayo. So, ito yung symbol ng exponent, yung x to the y power. O kaya sa ibang calculator, iba yung key ng exponent doon. Okay, so exponent 8. Exponent of 8, so equals, and then multiplied to 50,000. So kung mapapansin natin, nagsimula ako sa loob ng parenthesis, and then sinunod ko yung exponent of 8, saka pa lang ako nagmultiply sa 50,000. So the answer is 55,224. 31. Kasi magra-round up tayo ng nearest centavo or nearest two decimal places. So, 0.31 na siya. 305. So, that will be 0.31. So, the answer is 55,224.31. So, that will be our final amount. So, yun yung pinagsamang principal saka interest. So, ang principal ay 50,000. Ang interest, so that will be final amount minus principal. So, ang ating principal ay... 50,000, ang ating final amount ay 55,224.31. So, ang tanong, magkano yung tubo? Magkano yung compound interest? So, the compound interest is 5,224.31. So, 50,000 yung inutang. Tumubo ng 5,224.31 compounded quarterly. So, therefore, the final amount is 55,224.31. Okay, so again, balik tayo kay compound interest. So that is 5,224.31. Example number 2, our principal is 30,000. T is 1.5 years, so 1.5 years yung ating T. Letter R is 2% monthly. Letter N is blank, A is blank, and C, I is blank. So let's go back with the formula. A is equals to P, quantity times 1, plus R over N, quantity raised to the N, T power. So, 2%, convert natin ng decimal. So, we have 0 0.2 or 0 0.02. And then monthly, so let's identify our letter N. So, N is equals to how many months do we have in one year? So, that is 12. So, substitute, we have letter P, 30,000. We have letter N, 0 0.02 or letter R, 0 0.02. Letter N is 12. Letter N is 12. And then letter T is 1.5. So, multiply muna natin yung 12 multiplied by 1.5. So, that will be 18. So, ang exponent natin will be 18. 18 power. So, gamit tayo ng calculator. So, we have here 0 0.02. Unahin yung masa loob. Divided by 12. Plus 1. And then, quantity raised to the 18th power. So, exponent 18 power. 18 power. So, equals 1.030428888, blah, blah, blah. So, and then multiplied by times 30,000. So, we have 30,912.86. So, again, ang standard rule natin is to round off the answer up to the nearest two decimal places. So, we have 30,912.86. So, that will be our final amount. And then for our compound interest, so deduct natin yung ating principal from the final amount. So we have 30,912.86 minus 30,000. So that will be 
Okay, example number three. So let's apply our calculation of compound interest in a worded problem. So an investment earns 8% compounded semi-annually. Find the value of an initial investment of 45,000 after 6 years. So bago natin i-apply yung formula, let's identify first. So the factors given in our problem. So let's have first 8%, so that will be our rate, and that will be equals to 0 0.08. Then, compounded semi-annually. Again, tanongin natin, semi-annual. So, ilang semi-annual meron sa isang taon. So, that will be equals to 2. So, n is equals to 2. Then, we have 45,000 and that will be our principal. So, yan yung ating investment. Matutubo ng 8% dalawang beses sa isang taon. After 6 years. So, 6 years will be our letter T. So, kompleto na yung given. So, let's apply now the formula. So, A is equals to P times quantity 1 plus R over N, quantity raised to the NP power. So, substitute. So, P will be replaced by 45,000. R will be replaced by 0 0.08. Then, N is 2. Then, ang ating exponent will be 2 times 6. Okay. So, we have here now our answer. So, yung 2 times 6 natin is equal to 12. So, gamit tayo ng calculator. Palabasin natin yung 72,046.45. So, unahin natin yung loob ng parenthesis. So, 0 0.08 divided by 2 equals plus 1 equals exponent of 12 equals multiplied by 45,000. So, the answer is 72,046.449. So, that will be 0.45. Importante yung merong calculator na merong exponent function. So, more or less, kailangan scientific calculator. Okay, so the answer is 72,046.45. So, ang hinahanap lang naman natin is the find the value after 6 years. So, hindi natin kailangan ng compound interest. So, kailangan lang natin yung final amount. So, that is 72,046.45. Okay, problem number four. So, Rosa deposits 100,000 into an account paying 6% interest compounded quarterly. How much money will be in her account after five years? So, first thing to do is to determine the different factors involved in the computation of compound interest. So, let's have first the, our letter N. So, our letter N is equals to four. So, from our uh, rate, which is compounded quarterly. And then our rate is equals to 0 0.06, so 6% interest rate, so that is 0 0.06 in decimal. And our principal is 100,000. Then letter T is equals to 5. So formula A is equals to P multiplied by 1 plus R over N quantity raised to the NP power. Let's now substitute our value. So P will be replaced by 100,000, R will be replaced by 0 0.06, and will be equals to 4, n is 4 again, and then t is equals to 5. Okay, and then multiply na natin yung 4 and 5, so 4 times 5 is equals to 20, and that will be the exponent to be used later in our computation, in our solution. Okay, so use the calculator, so we have 0 0.06 divided by 4 equals plus 1 equals, and then raised to 20th power. And then times 100,000 as our principal. So that will be equal to 134,685.50. So that will be our final amount. So that will be the amount of money in Rosa's account for or after 5 years. So 134,685.50. And then for example number 5, so if you deposit 65,000 into an account paying 8% interest compounded monthly, so ang ating letter N dito is monthly, so how many months do we have in 1 year, so that is equal to 12. And then 8% yung letter R natin, so convert sa decimal, so that will be 0 0.08. How much money will be in the account after 7 years? Okay, so now this problem will be left for you to answer, so kayo yung magsagot ng problem na to, so and then comment your answer down in our comment box. And that will be all for this video lesson. So have a nice day.